Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you more than 10 Christmas activities for 3 to 5 years old. So I'm going to divide it into 4 sections, printables, arts and crafts, science experiments, and sensory activities. So make sure you stay till the end because I saved the best for the last. So let's start with printables first. So it's educational, it's really interactive, and it's really easy as well. You can just download my printables from my TPT account. I'm gonna put the link below. So I teach about numbers, letters, uppercase letters, uh, lowercase letters and also have tons of Christmas activities coloring tracings and also games so make sure you check out this video uh, how Brandon love it so my printables are usually really colorful because you can use it over and over again I usually put it on a protector sheet and uh, Brandon really love it he loves this printables compared to the ready-made book for activities like coloring and tracing I usually put it in uh, black and white we usually start the lessons in the morning after he had his breakfast because I think uh, that is the best time for him. He is more focused and his tummy is full and he can concentrate more. And we usually learn about numbers, letters, and also shapes and days of the week. And later on, we will do something fun like games, bingo, puzzles, and other kind of stuff. And I spy a snowflake. I spy and candy cane. I spy a elf. I spy a Santa. I spy a sway. And I spy a reindeer. And I spy a bell. And I spy a armor man. Good job. And Make the gingerbread house. Good job. on to the next category arts and crafts so we're just gonna use a used toilet paper rolls so he preferred to make a Grinch and elves today so it's really easy and uh, there's a lot of like choices out there you can also make Santa and you can also make reindeer and snowman or even Olaf <laughs> What is this? Green. This one? Elf. Which one do you like better? Mm, the green and the elf. Dua -duanya. Both? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So it's really easy. You can just use uh, used toilet paper rolls and you can also use cardboard. So I have tons of these on hand at home. You can also use like uh, cotton balls for the Santa hat and you can just use like a uh, marker to draw the face. Next, we're going to use cookie cutter, Christmas cookie cutters to make Christmas snacks. So you can make cookies with this, of course, but I'm just going to get a short card and Brandon love this one as well. So I just use a regular bread, a uh, regular sandwich bread, and then I just cut it with the cookie cutter. And I just asked Brandon's help to put the toppings. So I prepare a lot of toppings and I let him choose what he wants to use for the Christmas snacks like margarine, like the chocolate sprinkle, like Nutella, peanut butter, cinnamon sugar. So he really enjoyed this activity as well. And later on, he's so excited to eat it as well. So I just use the regular bread and you can also use like fruits if you want and also like cakes or um, brownies or even pancakes. 
You can also ask your little one to participate in wrapping gifts and Brandon helped me to stick the bows and the little cards to the Christmas presents and he's so excited about it so you can try that as well. Moving on to the science experiment, Brandon loved these activities as well. Ready for your science experiment? Yeah. Okay. So I hide all the colors below the baking soda and this is vinegar. And then kamu semprot. Mm -hmm. Slowly ya, dikit-dikit aja semprotnya. So you can see the color. Tuh, kayak gitu harusnya. Blue. So it's just something different for science experiments because if they keep doing sensory activities or art and craft, they might get bored. So I like to add some science experiment usually on our uh, activities. And if you're curious, you can also check out my other video. I have tons of idea about science experiments. I'm going to put the link on my description below as well. I also have tons of other activities about how to entertain your preschoolers and toddlers. I'm going to put the link below and we're going to do the second science experiment. The concept is basically the same but we are using cookie cutter for the Christmas theme. So you can do it on the same day or different day so they will not get bored. So even though it's kind of similar but it's different, Brandon is still very excited. So I use blue for the snowflakes. You can also use green for the Christmas tree and like make a different color for different shapes a christmas ornament sing or float kamu harus tebak dulu float how about this bell sing or float sing bilang dulu dong sing sing is it oh yeah yeah heavy yeah because it's heavy next that bell is sweet to be sing but it's floating mm. how about the cookie cutter sing or float so Brandon was really excited about this activity. He loves this sing or float. And at the beginning, we just used Christmas stuff like Christmas ornaments and Christmas cookie cutters. But later on, we also use other kitchen tools as well. And later on after they're done, you can also ask them to scoop the Christmas ornaments using like a ladle and just uh, dry all the items as well. So it's like basically two activities in one. So you can uh, make them uh, busy longer. Next, we're gonna go to the best part, which is sensory activities. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Angie Lewis. I made tons of videos about motherhood and family lifestyles. So make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well. And for this activity, I just use Epsom salt, leftover Epsom salt as the snow and I created a Christmas village from whatever I have that I got from dollar store before. So I have the fake Christmas tree, I have the fake house, I also have the Christmas carols and Christmas ornament as well. And I just gave Brandon a scoop and he just keeps scooping the um, snow or the Epsom salt and he played for this one for one and a half hours. So sometimes they got bored so you need to add some stuff like the coriander and I got this black thing from the magic bullet so i just let him play with it i have the coriander i also have other stuff that i keep changing you can put some letters as well you just need to get creative about when they get bored and if you do if you don't have the same item as me that's fine you can use whatever that you have at home so for example if your kids love frozen you can make like a frozen theme if your kids love paw patrol that you can make a paw patrol theme as well and you can just use epsom salt and you can also use other stuff like rice or cotton balls and also you can make a fake snow using a flowers and combine it with conditioner and if you have carpet at home, you can also move the activities to your kitchens or your bathroom. As you can see, I move it to my kitchens. And uh, it's really nice to do it on the kitchen as well because when they do one activity, you can wash the previous activities or prepare the next activity. So when they are done with this activity, you can just give them the next activities. And as you can see, Brandon got a little bit bored already. So I add new stuff. I add Christmas cookie cutter. So he got excited again. He got something new. And at the end, he played this for one and a half hours, so I would say it's pretty good. 
For the next activity is Christmas Play-Doh, so it's just not your regular Play-Doh, you just need to uh, put something extra so they got excited again. So I just prepare uh, like Christmas colors like red, green and white and also prepare some like uh, buttons, fake eyes, toothpick and pipe cleaner so he can just stick it on the Play-Doh. He can make a fake snowman, he can make a... Um, anything using the cookie cutter and he played this for a long time as well i think he played for about one hour and 15 minutes and he used a cookie cutter as well to make a christmas shape so he's really excited so i would say this cookie cutter is really useful i got this from daiso or the japanese dollar stores and i believe you can get it at any dollar stores the next activity is frozen zelo. So I used a blue color this time and I made a frozen theme. So I just uh, make a jello on the pan and I also add some glitters and gems and stickers and Christmas ornaments and I stick it on the fridge and I give him cookie cutter as well. So because it's such a hit and he play with this not for a long time though. So uh, during the Halloween, I put a lot of like a small um, toys like the one that you got from the kinder got uh, kinder eggs and like spiders and he played that one for a long time i think for about one hour so i would suggest you if you have like small toys you can put it inside the one that you don't care about but again you can wash it and you reuse it later on so instead of like throwing out all the kinder eggs toys or the mcdonald's toys uh, from the mac uh, happy meal you can use that one for the activities Next will be the frozen cubes. It's really easy to make. You can just use the ice cube tray. You can make the regular with the regular water, or you can mix it with the food coloring. And you can put like glitters, like stickers inside. So he like to play with it, and but be careful because later on their hand will be a little bit cold. So make sure. Uh, to add like some warm water later on and just keep adding the warm water and Brenda just uh, took out the like stickers and ornaments out and he loves these activities as well I think he played for more than half an hour so I hope you like this video I hope you can get some ideas from this video and make sure to check out my other videos about how to entertain your toddlers and preschoolers thanks for watching guys bye